think I saw something earlier that said that you uh, were being compared to Thug. Yeah. As far as like your sound or mm -hmm. Thug was being compared to you. How do you feel about that? Um, I did a song called Cash Talk with Q. Okay. Who got OG Bobby Johnson. Mm. He cool, so that's the homie too. And um, fucking Thug did a song and in the hook he saying Cash Talk. Oh wow. You feel me? So that's when the blogs like hip hop early and all these blogs they picking up talking about is he biting me type of shit. I love Thug, so right. you feel me? We both from Atlanta, they just doing it because we both from Atlanta. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just the lingo. You feel so me? they feel like that I would necessarily so to speak, the blogs are pretty much just yeah, they're trying, trying to, to make find some ways shit. to make up something mm -hmm. like they always do. Cause I'm the only artist that ain't been in shit. Like right. I haven't been in no Shit, don't nobody know who I'm dating, don't nobody know who I'm fucking, don't nobody know what the fuck I'm doing. All they know is I'll be touring or I'm not touring, I'm doing a show. I ain't even in the mix. I haven't been in the mix yet. Right. I know it's coming, but I haven't been in the mix yet. So they trying to, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I killed them with the tweet. I tweeted them right back like, I love Thug. Right. So that's done. Yummy Pearl's home but now. now. Yummy Pearl, I mean, you used to always scream free Yummy Pearl. Mm -hmm. I know that was your, your, your biggest, uh, support system, I want to say, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say Young Pro was definitely a big supporter of you, because mm -hmm. anytime I would I would meet her, she would always say that you, you know, that you you were the next person that, you know, would you, she would hope to see come up out of Atlanta, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So let's talk Young Pearl. like why why is Young Pearl such a, a, a big influence and why is she so influenced off of you? Uh, my first mixtape I ever put together in my life, it didn't really go out and go nowhere, but first mixtape I ever did in my life Yummy, I met Yummy, and sh everybody was trying to date Yummy. I'm probably the only guy who never tried to date Yummy. So when I saw it, she started singing for me or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, maybe we should get in the studio. So we got in the studio, she was on my first mixtape, and ever since then, she's been on every mixtape I ever dropped. Yeah. And like, we got like this real, like, brotherly, socially type, like, vibe. Which is good. And, um,. I always saw some in her, and she didn't try to stop a couple of times, but I always tell her keep going. And you know, now she got a situation with QC. I already saw it was gonna happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? I already told her. I said you're gonna be big. It's something special about you. And boom, like you know. You know when we can expect anything from Yummy? Uh, right now she recording every day, so you might be hearing something new from Yummy in the next month, like. Right. right. Real soon. Saying? But it's gonna be super Yummy, mega Yummy. So, the situation with um. Jacquees yeah. and Cash Money. How, how you feel about uh, Jacquees even signing the bird, man, after this whole tobacco with Lil Wayne and, mm. and, 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 and Wayne not getting his money? How do you, I mean, because of course Jacquees is, he's, he's Atlanta bread. That's one of our, yeah, own. that's one of my closest, that's one of my close friends. Where we grew up together. I know his mom, he know my mom. Like, we right. close. I've been with him for the past like three, four days now. If you were probably in the same position to get a deal with Cash Money or any level mm. for that matter, what would be the smartest advice you would tell somebody before they sign that dotted line? Just make sure you go in the deal with some type of leverage. You feel me? Cause like Quee, the reason he, I always talk about him and his deal, like before you would know, before Quee signed the cash money, he had 20, 30 videos with millions of views. You feel what I'm saying? He had already been in deals. Right. You know what I'm saying? He already had big features and shit. Everybody knew him. You know, every kid was a fan of Jacquee. He was working with Chris Brown before the deal. Right. So it don't get no bigger than Chris Brown. Right. You feel me? So he went in the deal with leverage. You know what I'm saying? He loved his situation. He don't, I've never heard him complain about his situation with Bird. You know what I'm saying? Ever. I never hear him complain about his situation with Bird. Like, Kui always on the road. You see, he just bought the lamb. Right. He cool, he good, he, right. he, he, he eating, he chilling. <laughs>